God, wake up. Well, I mean, we all know what we're going to do here. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. <sighs> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. I feel like I should just not be here. Feel that dad. Oh my god, yes. Hell yes. Let me know if the webcam is too distracting, by the way. I can remove it. And this is the look I like to call, I wish I were more attractive than I am. Name that dad. Dadicus Sexicus. Let's, let's just call it. Hey, I've been... Two hours later. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. Raven Somatim. It's, um, foreign, probably. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Now I'm daddy. Did you fall asleep back in? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Hey. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile, and we begin looking through it. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Don't make me decide this. No, I'm by daddy. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Hell yeah! I want to be a princess dragon. Mm? Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right. Yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse face. Hmm. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh no. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above my head with my superior dad arms! Nice try. But this is important blackmail for later down the road. Nah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your scar band. Ouch, kid. Huh. This communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P! No, Dad, it's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P till high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right, Emma P was the one who... I would try to steal people's pets. No, Dad, that was Emma S. How many Emmas do you know? Oh. She moved to Kentucky three years ago. I miss her. <sighs> I also miss my hamster. Sir Hammington the Brave. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R. Later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. 
Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts! I think you mean food poisoning, you know? With a Z. Or a Z. And still can't drive past McFriday's without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh. I finally decide to break the silence. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Adopted. This was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. Of course, I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. Calmest I've ever seen her. She says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. In that voice. <sighs> she was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. Everything's sad suddenly. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Oh. She pats me on the back. Yeah. Come on, pups, we gotta finish packing. Moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one, take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. I believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm? Hey, remember when I shut the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shut the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. <sighs> hey, remember when I broke the back window? Pfft, we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. That's my girl. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. I will forever hold- it will forever hold the place in my heart. I will forever hold the place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. Yeah! It's not a car starting up, that's an earthquake! So, so what? Huh? I'm still a rock star. I got my rock move, and I don't need you. And guess what? <clears throat> Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, if sleep weren't for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yes. I think it's great. Won't we be close to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, try to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Huh? So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Relatable. Yeah, it's real. Oh. Don't you dare. Senior. Huh. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Hmm. <laughs> I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? <coughs> Death. Kia! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority! That's my girl. I'm so proud. Hmm. Man, all that karate chopping cut tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich! Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is the best time for an ice cream sandwich, but I do need some coffee. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. Relatable. It's literally me. I didn't even have to input anything besides telling him to get coffee. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we jet that out. Let's do it. Do it. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he is very much within my personal zone. Uh -huh. Dad. 
And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a pin? Do you just set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a pin somewhere just out of sight now that you're the jerk that left their mug? Dad... Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, hey. hey, Daddy. Hey, welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? How you doing? What's with their name? Hey, dude. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hmm. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm starting here rambling, I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now and I can't stop! So, will it be? Huh. I like him. He's my kind of guy. I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Uh, chai Antwoord. Spicy. I don't get it. Oh, it's a, it's a pun. Diane's word is a South African rap group that's pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper-stylized music videos. The music's as catchy as it is disturbing. Hey. I'm doing the thing again. Hey. But coming right up! Mm. And for you? Ah, oh, have a macchiato de marco, please. Oh. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? This guy's full of puns! You got puns! Oh, uh, medium. Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt's next to making out drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's this deal? Let the man make his puns, the cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! Hey! Scar was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than the couch. Amanda nudges me. Huh. This place is right next to our house and that guy seems not only cool, but are just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. I was thinking that. I <laughs> Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't even meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Here are our drinks, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Same. Hey, we're new in the neighborhood. This is my Amanda. This is my daddy. Uh -oh. oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. His voice keeps changing. I haven't decided on it yet. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes up with a flesh plate or something that smells amazing. Hey, yeah. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, y you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda Nod's vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with, uh. I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Oh, right. Yeah. That. This is amazing! Thanks. Secret ingredient. It's bananas. Mm. So many ideas. I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Oh my god, I know all of these bands. Oh no! I am a dad! I am a dad! I am a dad! Oh, these are all good puns. These are all good puns. These are all great puns. Mmm. Right, said Banana Bread. Gotta blow the door, so. Like right, said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's a hot baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it'd sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. 
Thanks, baby. Hey. See? Sounds good when you say it. Oh, we're heading off already. Oh. Hi. Can I just date all the dads in this town? All of them. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes met. Just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now we're full of caffeine. Where to? I need a nap. Mm. Yeah, that's me. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father's a rebel, sweetie. Now, all aboard the train to sleep time junction! As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Raven, bro! Dude! Dude! Pachacha! Turn around, I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Hmm. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Oh. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Oh. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Papa! Go, Papa! Are you babysitting? Mm -hmm. Ah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. With a capital F. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the bus business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley's her name. Mm -hmm. She actually still goes by Smashley. And uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all cop cop copacetic. Twins, you have three kids. Mm. Ain't life something, bro, right? Cake stand Greg is a father of three. <coughs> I'm allergic to wholesomeness. Mm. Cake stand Greg? Oh. Uh, haha, yeah, that was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. Nice. That thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, oh. oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly on January 1st when I promised myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. Grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We do bro brunch like the good old days. Alright, sure, it sounds great. Oh. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. My gay heart is really. Huh? Why is that? Craig I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Craig seems nice. But he's a little... I don't know. We'll see.